Today we're checking out one of the weirdest redstone machines I've ever seen. The world's smallest Minecraft house. What it'd be like if the hammer in the anvil menu was real, as well as this quote-unquote useless Minecraft block. Suggested by our Log.Zip channel members. Click the join button today to get priority picks on future comments to crafting episodes as well as other awesome perks. And don't forget to leave your recipe suggestions below. Today's are courtesy of I'm Cool Yeah. Let's start. We start today with a metal lead. Suggested by the very talented Kblagli Art. Still struggle with that username. Metal leads let you lead mobs you normally would not be able to lead. You see, we are leading our dear, dear husk friends. So now you've got an easy way to bring mobs with you that honestly, you shouldn't be able to bring with you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. We'll, we'll be good. No, no, come on. Yeah, no, it's fine. Get into the cactus. Get. Get in the- Ah, oh, he's too good at dodging. You'll need four iron nuggets and one slime ball in order to make this metal lead. Oh, sick. What's up, villager? Hey, villager, get on my- Did he eat up my lead? You monster. Quit eating my lead. There we go. You see, it takes a couple tries. This and that. I mean, we did have to code it in. So, you know, details, details. It's fine. All right, where are we going? I wouldn't ask too many questions. Now, it's worth noting, if you were to try and unlead the mob that you currently had l uh, led, I guess, <laughs> you ein, you will get back a regular lead, which you did not see because it fell in lava. That was supposed to be your fate! Got any water to trade me? Oh, of course, you won emeralds for it. What a joke. Rip off! It also makes placing specific mobs while in creative mode far easier, because I would not recommend you try and lead a creeper with your metal lead in survival mode. <laughs> I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying you're gonna have a bad time if you actually attempt to do that. For now, though, woohoo, you can swing these puppies around. What's good, baby? We're going for a ride this time. <laughs> See you, dude. He's gone. Next up, the Elytra chest plate. This one suggests by It's Jacob. Or is it? <laughs> Bruh, get a load of this thing. Fantastic. It's literally an Elytra and a chest plate goodbye. I mean, what do you expect? Look at what happens when we put it on. You see right by my hearts down there? No armor points currently. Now look. Armor points currently. And I got some wings. Some wings and things. Beautiful things. Beautiful wings. Yeah. Okay, we're at the top here. Now check me out, baby. Yeah! Ha! Oh, I was trying to punch him up. Well, we will meet again. What are you looking at? It's just lava. What are you doing? This guy's got heat stroke or something. Yeah, you. Works the exact same as you'd expect a normal set of wings to work, which means you could, in fact, also use fireworks to get around, have a grand old time. You know, go for some... Where is he? Go for some... Wait, what happened to the villager? Oh! <laughs> awesome! But you know, you should have sold me the water bucket. I don't feel bad. We move on to number three, the flying golem. Oh yeah! Look, it might be tiny in your hand, but size isn't everything. But look at what happens the moment you try to place it down. You'll get a very special guy. Look at you. The ultimate flying golem. Oh my word. And what's more, it'll follow you and deal damage to any mobs nearby. Oh yeah! Love it! Love it! The flying golem was suggested by Alex Gao. In order to make it, you'll need two dispensers, one elytra, and one block of iron so that you can get your golem flying. Now, it's fairly important that you stay somewhat nearby your golem, otherwise the golem will not follow you. So if you want him to stick around and have a good old time, that's what's gonna need to happen. Now notice the dispensers on the side there. What are they for? Well, they're for attacking hostile entities. Look at that. Instantly starts dealing damage to nearby husks and a whole mess of that damage, by the way. I like the special gunpowder effect. Can we get a couple different guys going at once? Whoa, baby, hey! Yeah! Yo, good. It looks like it's attacking multiple mobs at once. Yo, this thing's pretty overpowered. Hold on. We're gonna fly far away from this little puppy, spawning a whole mess of husks all nearby, and see what happens. You see, if the golem is not far enough nearby, all of the various different particle effects that they are affected by, well, won't affect them. <laughs> the golem's gotta be close. But, let's go ahead and bring him right on over. Come here, baby! Actually, we got one right here. Curious to see what happens if we spawn in one nearby. Oh my gosh! Well, that's certainly not overpowered at all. Holy moly, look at it. What a mess. Hold on, get closer. That was hilarious to watch. Yeah, 
Yeah, seriously, dude. This is insane. Imagine having a couple of these puppies going off at the same time. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So much damage. Next up, my friends, is number four, the hammer. You've seen this guy before. It's pretty much the thing that hangs out on the anvil menu. See, look, check it out. Boom. I mean, this one's a little bit cooler looking. It's almost like they're an adorable little family. Yeah. Hammer was suggested by Dinky. <laughs> 158. I like your name, Dinky. To make it, you'll need six blocks of iron as well as one single stick. Now, as you saw, this thing is a weapon in its own right. I mean, check it out. It's got negative attack speed. It's pretty slow, but it's got pretty decent attack damage on it. More importantly, though, you can also use it to break blocks essentially at any time. But hold on. Let's show you the attack damage. Boom. 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 Pretty strong. Three hits on a husk. I don't have any strength. I don't have any of those things. There's no sharpness on it. Does decent damage. In fact, does more damage than, I believe, a diamond sword. But it's a little bit slower. However, that's not where the magic comes in. Boom. Right click. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And more importantly, you can go to town. I ain't mad about this at all. Not only that, you can deal a whole bunch of block damage. Right. But... It doesn't do any durability damage. You can just flat out destroy nearby blocks. Can you destroy buttons? Oh, that one. I just pressed the button by mistake on that one. <laughs> I get away. Made me lag alert. B big meanie. Can we destroy command blocks? No command block destroying. So sad, guys. I mean, honestly, probably for the best. But yo, you could use this to very, very quickly make it to the bottom of. I mean, look at look at my Y level 30. 25, 20, 15. This is great. I am on fire. No, I don't want to die. Ah, oh, All right, don't use the hammer. But maybe the Insta Mansion is more your speed. This one was suggested by Wesley Park. Yo, Wesley, looks like your membership lapsed. Chop, chop, get on it. <laughs> Just kidding, kind of. You need six oak planks, one oak door, and two glass to make the smallest little insta mansion that y'all ever seen. I mean, look at it. It's a tiny little guy. Uh, yeah. Placing this down will instantly build a house for you. Y'all ready? Boom! Nice. Big old boy. So you can escape from danger quite quickly, as well as collect wheat seeds, I guess. Or maybe it just destroyed the... Yeah, I'm gonna just assume it's gonna give us wheat seeds. This one's sweet, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> we move on to number six, mob repellent. I've been waiting for this. Mob repellent will stun mobs for a short period of time. See, look, he ain't moving. Even though I missed, I got bad aim, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. He's stuck. He's dumb, no one likes him. <laughs> all right, anyways. Oh, he turned his head, he heard me. Listen, it's all good, buddy. Thanks very much to the following person, Team Prime Knockout for suggesting this awesome recipe. To make it, you're going to need to have already taken out a numerous amount of mobs to get mob skulls, water buckets, and of course some glass for this mob repellent. No lie, kind of a bum deal. Pretty much the biggest ripoff I've ever seen. It's only got one use on it. And did you see what you need in order to make it? Look at this. Four mob skulls? Does it work on every mob? What's good, ugly? Bam! Oh, big boy on deck, huh? I guess it doesn't work on fish. How about bunnies? Does it work on bunnies? Does it work on bunnies? Maybe I need to be in survival mode? Hey, get over here! What? Does it work on creepers? Oh, okay, good. Finally. <laughs> you can't get Oh gosh! Yeah, this one sucks. Not not the not the suggestion. The 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 <laughs> Anyway, seven is the shulker helmet. This one was suggested by Mick. Kelly. To make it, you need five shulker shells for the shulker helmet. Right, so you know how a carved pumpkin can keep you safe from all these friendermen attacking you at any point in history? And at the moment you take it off, you're probably going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, look, they like me anyways. Hey, I guess I was told. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no! <laughs> Stop! Well, the shulker helmet works in a similar way, but for shulkers. So check it out. Shulker right here. Yo, doesn't like me. Attacks. Floating. They call me Floaty Boy Jones. That is what they call me. They called me that in high school. You wouldn't know. You weren't there. But now look, I'm gonna put this helmet on, and if this thing gets close to me, I ain't. Well, it still hit me. <laughs> anyway, you'll want to put it on before any of those shulker shell bullets appear, because now look, now he just says hey, now oh, and sticks his tongue out or something. I mean, what is that sound he makes? Presumably, it's him sticking his tongue out, right? Hey, hey, stupid, 
Yeah, see, that sounds like a tongue getting stuck out. Now look, he doesn't do anything. He just waits to be attacked. Heat of the moment. Yeah, you suck. Yo, I think I'm gonna keep this on. Number eight is the snare gun. This one was suggested by Michael Tyson. Should I say Mike Tyson? You'll need four iron ingots and one single string to make this snare gun. However, you'll also need string as ammo. And get this, it's basically the mob repellent on, uh... On, on, on sugar, yeah, we'll <laughs> go sugar. You can essentially use it to trap mobs in place. See? Hey, ugly. <laughs> he let me call him ugly. No, come on! As you can see, the repellent works far longer compared to the snare. And if you pay attention to my hot bar on that ninth slot there, every single time we right click, we actually end up using one of our strings. So you finally have a use for all this. Oh boy. Look, the reality of the situation is you're still gonna wanna not get too close to these mobs. It only lasts for just a couple seconds of time, but hey, that's enough for you to escape some seriously dangerous situations, such as this. You're trapped. It's the middle of the night, and you need to get your way around all of these nasty husks. So now all you gotta do is, th Ein, is throw some right clicks real quick, minimize on that damage, and look at that. You've got a pretty decent escape route. None of them are gonna really cause you any problems as long as you keep them at bay with your snare gun. You can even corral them together because if the mobs are close together, the snare will actually ensnare multiple of these mobs at the same exact time. From there, give them some punches, you know, have a good time. Oh boy, I'm out of string. Guys, can we talk about this? Number nine, the sponge helmet. Suggested by John Lejakis. Lejakis? Lejakis? Uh, one of those. Anyways, become a member. <laughs> Click the join button. Yeah, it makes it air pocket when you drown. Speaking of make, here's how you make it. Five sponge, one helmet. Sorry, Shulker helmet, your days are numbered. Sponge helmet's my new best friend. We're gonna hop in this water and slowly but surely drown. <laughs> no, seriously, look at my air bubbles. Three, two, one. The moment it hits zero, air pocket. It only lasts for so long though, so it will buy you a little bit of extra time, but check it out, the helmet is now gone. So. Wear this if you're planning on drowning, which sounds bad, but you know, it's Minecraft, you know, sometimes you drown, you know? Sometimes you drown in real life. Well, I mean, you only drown once in real life, presumably. I guess you could be revived after you've drowned, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Number 10, a useless block. Oh, great. Esteban Bernal suggested this one. Thank you, Esteban. And no lie, it's pretty useless. Three granite, three andesite, three diorite to make the most useless block I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, and it gave us 64 of them? Look at this, it's hideous! Do not adjust the colors on your TV screen. This block is literally that gross. Looks like someone threw up tie-dye all over it. Apparently it's a decorative block that no one wants to use. I mean, if you ask me, it's got a lot of uses. First of all, you can use it to get rid of all your granite, andesite, and diorite much more quickly. Second of all, makes for a great disco dance floor. Third of all, is secretly all those blocks just being covered by a layer of goodies? Nice. Fourth of all, when you stand on it for some reason, you get wither effect. So, this useless block is far from useless, but you know, you will know, we'll go with it. Number 11 is the waypoint beacon. Ooh, not bad. Now this one was suggested by It's a Glitch 1. And it's a pretty cool looking beacon. It's actually much less expensive to make this beacon compared to a regular beacon. Because instead of a nether star, you just use your five glasses normal, your three obsidian as normal, and a redstone block right in the center. No nether star needed. However, it gives you no status effects. It's simply a beacon made to help you find your way back home. So you can place this down and it will instantly begin emitting an amazing particle effect. Feast your eyes as we look up to see a sheer straight line leading up into the heavens. Or the sky, you know, the sun, I guess. Wow, that goes forever. And not only does it go forever, but you can essentially see it from forever away through the power of editing. Thanks, Aaron. You can notice right by my crosshair right there that that beacon is extremely far away, but more importantly, that you can make out the actual beam that it is emitting from, well, as you can see, extremely far away. Even if you're on the ground, you can actually make out that beacon from very, very far. And since it's so inexpensive to make, you can make a whole bunch of these so that you know exactly where to get home at a moment's notice. Yo, I co-signed this for sure. Little harder to see in the day, but you can in fact see it in the day. Yo, I ain't mad about this one. 
Number 12 is the Lightning Staff. Suggested by Dr. Adams, this puppy has an extremely expensive recipe requiring 16 T, two blaze rods, and a single diamond to get the Lightning Staff. But you're gonna love it. Why? Well, because you can use it to summon lightning. I ain't. Well, it's better to not, you know, do nearby you, I guess. Plus, if you didn't notice, you only- Ein. Useless block! Right, if you didn't notice, I guess you only get one use out of it? Just kind of lame. Not gonna lie. I guess technically, if you back up right in time, it won't damage you. Like, check it out. Bam! Nice! Yo, he's like, what are you doing to me, man? <laughs> Yo, he sucks. He just died so fast. Man, people who die fast are just... They're the worst. Like, how could you be so bad? This is probably my favorite use for this. Yo, what's good, boys? Yo, yeet! Look at all these witches. Oh, give them those stitches, baby. I'm telling you. Look, they're all drinking as if their life is over. As if I haven't seen that before in my life. <laughs> don't ask any questions. I'm fine. Everybody, seriously, don't ask anything. <laughs> Ooh, this one sounds exciting. 13 is the enhancement table. Suggested by the boy, Max Weber. Pretty sure I met you at Mind Fair, right? Look, I'm just saying, coolest block we've seen yet. Yeah, seriously, I like this. It's like an enchanting table on uh, sugar. Anyways, to make it, you're gonna need a whole mess of diamonds, gold, and a single beacon. But it's gonna be totally worth it. Now, our interpretation of Max's suggestion is simple. You take potion ingredients, throw them on the enhancement table, and instead of worrying about potion making, look at this, you now have a speed boost. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> The table literally is like an enchantment table on sugar. Or I suppose rather it's like sugar on an enchantment table. Look at this, it's just consuming, consuming, consuming. Man, this thing's gonna crash like crazy. Throw a blaze powder on, hey, why not get some speed and strength? Hey, why not get some, oh, you know, regen constantly. This one's definitely overpowered. You know, it's, uh, probably shouldn't last forever. And yo, honestly, look how strong I am. This is literally made of diamond. <laughs> Punch. No, not the drink. Only two more to go. 14 is the totem of life. Suggested by Joey Potter. Are you a wizard? I'm on to you. You'll need four blocks of diamonds, four nether stars, and a totem of undying to get your totem of life, which means you're gonna have to have done a whole lot in your survival world if you wanna get this thing legit, but you might want to because you can right click to convert a zombie villager into a regular one instantly so if you've got some wither skeleton skull farms popping off if you've got infinite diamonds which you can in theory get with the correct villager farms it's been an easy way to get a whole mess of zombie villagers right away oh look at that you only need one of them oh beautiful in that case i love this thing hey where are you going oh you're the one from the lava pool from before right let me check your trades Oh, he's different. All right, hold on a second. Where's my lightning staff? <laughs> you suck. Final replica. The totem of dying instead of the totem of undying. Ooh, this one was suggested by your boy Witherstorm underscore one. For this, you need one totem of undying and eight lava buckets. And then it's just the thing. It's just flipped on its head. It's kind of funny, right? You know, you can work with that. Check it out. Totem of undying or a totem of dying, it's kind of hard to say. You right click it to kill a random entity nearby, including potentially yourself. So we got a cow here, we got a husk here. Let's see who bites the dust. Oh, all right, let's play with our odds now, huh? Die, 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 seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Can I just hold it down? Oh, I can just hold it down. Yo, I can just hold it down. Yo, is it killing so many mobs right now? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. you could use this to clean house, but you do risk yourself dying at a moment's notice. Wow, we're doing really well. Look at that. No way. Whoa! It didn't get me. Hey! Not bad. 